This is Acer Nitro V Gaming Laptop and today I am going to do the detailed review of it. So if you are planning to buy it, make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all, let's have a look on this laptop's box content. While opening the box, first of all, you are going to find a user manual. This is our Acer Nitro V Gaming Laptop that looks really cool in hand. Here is a 135W power adapter and at the end you will find a power cord in the box. The laptop is powered with Intel Core i5 13420H processor that comes with a 4P cores and 4E cores, 512GB NVMe Gen 4 SSD, 16GB DDR5 RAM with frequency 4800 MHz and at the end here you will find a NVIDIA RTX 4050 GPU with 75 watt of TGP. The Acer Nitro V laptop features a polycarbonate top lid with a dazzling and illuminating Nitro logo, while the body is crafted from durable plastic, offering a perfect blend of style and durability. The vents at the bottom helps the laptop for air intake, hence both the fans are available on one side, the air exhaust can be found only in the right hand side and the back right hand sides. The left side of the body is completely equipped with lots of ports such as power input, RJ45, HDMI 2.1 and two USB 3.2 Gen 1 type A port out of which one support power of charging and at the end here you will find a single Thunderbolt 4 port. On the right hand side here we have a single USB 3.2 Gen 1 port and a 3.5mm combo port for microphone and headset. On the top plate very minor flags can be visible in the same time in the keyboard area I haven't found any flex at all. The total weight of this laptop is around 2.1 kg. So if you travel a lot, I don't think you're going to have any problem. The laptop comes with a very simple looks and design. So I can tell you one thing, this laptop can be used for office purpose, for college purpose and for gaming purpose as well. But there is one drawback, while opening the laptop, the bottom parts are coming out for a second. So I will recommend you use both the hands. And while moving the lid, here you can see the bottom parts are coming upwards so that the ventilation will happen properly in the laptop. At the bottom, you can find a two down fire speaker that is powered with DTSX audio. Overall, sound quality of this laptop is pretty good and loud. Now, let's go forward and have a look on this laptop's display quality. This laptop comes with 15.6 inch full HD IPS display powered with 45% NTSC, 2 minutes brightness, and 144Hz refresh rate. The display quality is good one, but if you do lots of color getting tasks, then I believe we are not going to get the 100% color accuracy because this laptop do not come with 100% sRGB. And on top of the display, you can find a 720 pixel webcam. The laptop comes with a full size keyboard with a single color backlit that can be adjusted with the help of function plus F11 button. The backlits are not too much bright, but the keys can be visible at night very easily. Overall, typing experience of the keyboard is good one. Same like other normal keyboards, you are not going to feel it like a gaming keyboard. Here you will get a big size touchpad from which you can do day-to-day -day tasks very easily and the touchpad comes with a multi-gesture and it is pretty responsive as well. Out of the box, here you will get Windows 11 and SR Nitro Sense application support. This one application allows you to see the system performance and you can also customize the mode. Here you will get multiple different modes so I will recommend you for playing a game. Choose the mode as performance and make the fan speed as the maximum so that your laptop doesn't feel any overheat. Other than this, this laptop also includes Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 6E. Before going forward, I would just like to let you know this is not a sponsored video. I used to purchase laptop on my audience request and review on my channel. So if you really like my work and if you really want to support my channel, buy the laptop from the link given in the description section below. It will help my channel plus you will also get the laptop at the best price as well. Now let's go forward and have a look on this laptop's benchmark scores. While running this indie benchmark test, single core score was 1630 and multi core score I got around 10676. In the same time, I have also run multiple benchmark tests. I am showing you in the screen one by one. Overall, benchmark score was pretty good on this laptop. Now let's go forward and have a look on this laptop's gaming performance. 
First of all, I played Forza Horizon 5. At extreme setting, I was getting 43 FPS of average score and at the same time, at ultra setting, I was getting 107 FPS. At both the settings, the game runs very smoothly. Next, I have tested Shadow of Tomb Raider. At higher settings, I was getting 135 FPS and again, here you will feel a very smooth experience and this FPS is without enabling any DLS. While playing Spider-Man Miles Morales at very high setting, I was getting 65 FPS. Again, this game also runs very smoothly. At the same time, while enabling the ray tracing at very high and high settings, I am showing you the results side by side where very high setting I was getting 33 FPS and at high setting I was getting around 47 FPS. Next I have tested God of War, at ultra setting I was getting 66 FPS at the same time at original setting I was getting 91 FPS, again at both the settings the game runs very smoothly. While playing GTA 5 at very high setting, I was getting an average score of 130 FPS. Let me clear you one thing, the, in GTA 5 at most of the sections, the FPS keep changes. Sometimes you may get 120, sometimes you may get 110 or sometimes you may experience more than 130 FPS. But on an average, you can enjoy the game at 130 FPS easily. While playing Red Dead Redemption 2 at Faber quality, that is the maximum setting of this game, I was getting consistently around 65 FPS. Next, I have tested Far Cry 6. At ultra setting, you can enjoy the game at 80 FPS and even this game also runs very smoothly. At the end, I have tested Valorant at high settings and here I was getting a amazing scores of 262 FPS. And this game runs very smoothly. If you love to play fast shooting games, I believe you are going to love the performance of the laptop. Other than this, I have also tested mini games at multiple different settings. If you want to know more about the gaming performance of this laptop, you can directly visit my website. The link is given in the description section of the video. Now, why playing game does this laptop over it? Not at all. Why playing the game? I will recommend you make the fan speed at a maximum settings. Yes, the fan will make noise, but the laptop doesn't feel heat. While playing the game, I experienced the temperature of the laptop is under 80 degree. That is a pretty good temperature of a gaming laptop. Now let's go forward and have a look on the most commonly asked questions. Can we do 4K editing on this laptop? Yes, you can do 4K editing on this laptop very easily. I don't think we're going to face any such problems. For rendering 10 minutes of 4K video on this laptop, it took only 38 minutes and 20 seconds. In the same time, if you try to edit full HD video, obviously it will run very smoothly. And for rendering 10 minutes of full HD video, it took around 6 minutes and 15 seconds. What is the battery backup of this laptop? See, while doing a normal task at the silent mode, I got around 5 to 6 hours of battery backup. And that is a pretty good battery backup according to a gaming laptop. Next question, can we upgrade the RAM on this laptop? Yes, you can easily upgrade the RAM on this laptop. By default, there is a 16GB RAM available on the single slot and another slot is absolutely empty. So maximum you can upgrade up to 32GB of RAM. Next question, can we upgrade the SSD on this laptop? Yes, you can very easily upgrade the SSD on this laptop as there is a single empty slot available. And the last question, does this laptop comes with a mug switch? No, there is no mug switch available in this laptop. Now the final conclusion, should you buy the laptop? From my side, I will highly recommend you this laptop if you are looking for a especially gaming laptop because at this budget, currently, this is the best gaming laptop available in the market. If you are planning to buy it right now, make sure to use the link given in the description section below or else you can directly buy it by clicking here. You know that if you use my link, it will help my channel plus will also get the laptop at the best price as well. If you're new here, do subscribe it and also hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.